what does the word self refer to in Python? This is one of those things which in general I find is really badly explained, but it's so simple. Firstly, let's just remind ourselves where we find self. It's passed as the first argument to every method of a class. And then it can be used inside. But when we use those methods, we don't have to pass it in ourselves. I've called both those methods. I didn't need to pass anything in, even though they both got self defined as a first argument. So what is self? If you take away one thing from this video, it should be this. Every time you use the word self, just say this instance of the class. That's what self is. And the reason for that is that you can have many different instances of the same class. And they all come from the same template, this class, which means they have the same methods. So when you call a method of another instance, the class needs to know which instance you're talking about so that it can apply whatever the method does to the right instance of the class. So what I'm saying here is this instance of the class level attribute, add one to it. So you see what I did there? I literally, like I said, just replace self with this instance of the class. And I find you can do that in pretty much everywhere and it makes sense, right? So let's look at where else it's applied. So what's happening in the, in the initializer? I pass in this instance of the class as the first argument. On this line, I set this instance of the class name attribute equal to name, which is passed in. On this line, I set this instance of the class as level attribute equal to level, which is also passed into the initializer. In this method, again, I pass in this instance of the class as the first parameter, and then I print this instance of the class's name and this instance of the class's level in this string format. And then here, again, one more time, I pass in this instance of the class as the first argument, and then I set this instance of the class's level attribute incremented by one. So in the case of this player, player is exactly the same thing as self. So whenever I call a method of that player instance, this thing player actually gets passed in by Python under the hood as the first argument. So I can prove that to you. If I update my play method and I'll pass in another variable and then I'll change this call the play to actually pass in player, that is this instance of the class. And here, I just want to print both of them just to show you that they're the same thing. These two are exactly the same. This is the place in my computer memory where self is stored. And you can see that's exactly the same place in memory where the player is stored player and self in that case are exactly the same thing. So again, under the hood, Python passes in this instance of a class as a first parameter to every method of a class. You can use that instance of the class inside any method where it's passed in, in exactly the same way that you use any other variable. You can change it, you can set as attributes, you can access different methods of it. And that's why when you see something like this, I'm just accessing the play method of this instance of the class, which is this thing. One thing worth noting is that self is just a convention. It's not a recognized keyword by Python. You can actually change it to whatever you want. And things will work just fine, but please stick with self. Again, overall, it's really simple. When you see the word self, just say this instance of the class.